Class of 89 of the Federal Government Girls College, Yola, have passed the vote of confidence on Mrs. Ngozi Sarami and her team to continue to stir the affairs of the old girls for another two years. The news agency of Nigeria reports that the class exercised this franchise at the end of its 30th anniversary celebration and reunion with the theme, Greater Together, in Abuja. I'm humbled by the confidence my classmates have in me, you know, to want me to continue. But I must say it's, um, it's a daunting task, but I think it's worth, it's worth doing it. It's not easy presiding over your mates, first and foremost. And like you said, you know, we, we all come from different backgrounds, tribes, religion. So uh, it's a lot to contend with, you know. And, uh, but it's humbling to be able to, you know, be the leader of our class. But in the course of leading the class, I've also learned a lot of things. I've learned patience, I've learned diplomacy, I've learned negotiating, you know. So those skills I have honed over the last two years. Saromi promised to be true to herself and continue doing what brought her to the position. And that is bringing together and uniting her classmates to achieve greater things. I would identify some of us who are a bit more influential than others and see how we can... Um, you know, harness the resources that we have to pull those who are not as advantaged as others, you know, to bring them to a pedestal where they can feel among. Because sometimes, you know, we have people who have a um, complex because they are not or they don't fit into a particular class in the society. So going forward, I'll make sure that we bridge that gap of class. You know, we're going to be classless. We're going to go back to the days when we're in Yola, when we knew nothing, when we're innocent, and when we loved for the sake of loving. The president, Federal Government Girls College Yola, class of 89, projected how the association will look like in the next five years. The next five years, I, I want to see the widows more empowered. I want to see those who have health challenges, you know, us contributing towards... Um, their health bills, medical bills, I want to see a stronger and more united class of 89. Speaking with the news agency of Nigeria, a visibly excited national president of the Federal Government Girls College Yola Old Girls Association, Ms. Aisha Mohammed Hassan, who is also a member of class of 89, could not contain her happiness over the reunion and the anniversary celebration. Mohammed Hassan said it was a mixed feeling having to celebrate 30 years after secondary school and meeting many of your classmates for the first time after such a long period. We have the potentials for love, extreme love to our sisters. We have grown up with that. And 30 years down the lane, you cannot imagine the happiness that I feel having to share our lives with each other. We have come through 30 years facing our challenges, our successes in life, but yet when we, we, are, we met here, we are back to being girls. We are back to being the innocent young girls that were there in 30 years ago. Once there is so much love, there is no problem. I have so much love in my heart that I can, that I can go around. The support I have always had and the love I have had for my sisters that made me come out to become the president general is the same love I will give, or more than that, love is going to go free, so there is no issue for inequality.